All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of On The Mats. And in this week's video, we're going to be working on uh, a drill that we've been focusing on in class. So what we're working on is the correct use of the, the qua. So what, basically what we're going to talk about is the, the, you could say the qua, or you could talk about the yao, right, is like the waist. And in a lot of the classics, they talk about turning, like turning the waist. And Ilu Chuan talk about uh, the bare waist, okay? So, but moving from the waist, or turning the waist, actually is a lot about using the pelvis. So in uh, some of the Tai Chi classics, they talk about that the, the pelvis, the power is in the pelvis, right? So a lot of times when people are talking about the qual, or they just focus on the folding here in the qual, but it's the turning of the qual because we want the shoulders over the hips. So it's the turning of the qual that's gonna give you this horizontal power here that we're looking for. So basically that's the secret to the the drum from Karate Kid, if everybody remembers. So, because what we want to have here is we want to turn the upper body like into a cylinder. So the, the pelvis is going to be down here. So we want to rotate, we want to turn this whole cylinder here. A lot of times you start to see people twisting here in the spine. We don't want to twist because you see, as soon as you twist, what happens? You, you compromise the structure of the cylinder. We want to maintain the cylinder nice and solid and rotate it. So that means we're going to be turning a lot from the feet. You want to spin this open and close from the feet. So a couple of points here. Go ahead and switch your stance up for me a little bit. That we want to look for <clears throat> is A, we want the knee only to move forward and backward. So sometimes when I'm working with, with people, I'm going to go ahead and block the movement on the knee so that as they're propelling the spin from the feet, go ahead, open and close, we only let the knee move forward and backward. So, and then again, down here on the feet, we don't want to see any wobbling in the feet. Luke's doing pretty good, so that's not an issue in this case, but a lot of times with the beginners, you'll see that either the knee will start to swim around and be dropping valgus. And that also has this effect on the foot down here. We wanna keep the foot in a nice stable neutral position. We let the knee only move forward and backward to open and close on the qual. Now, what we wanna feel here, what we were working on on Sunday, we're gonna work on again in today's class, is on the structure of the hip here. Can you turn a little bit more to the side? Other way. Turn, keep coming. Step, 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 step. There we go. All right. So, in the in the pelvis here, there's going to be like a a, fa or, or a process here, so that you can kind of dig the thumb into here, and then just behind here, there's going to be like a little recess, a little dip, like a fossa. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to go ahead and pinch that, so that he has a point of application here to be able to apply. When you close here, you want to feel propelling my finger here, like when you close back, yeah. So you see a little more, if you see started to lose that. Turn, 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 suction here, drop, good. Okay, now when you come back, press against the thumb, so you have some resistance here, so that we're not using the muscles, we're not using the transversus here the muscles of the waist to kind of twist this back and forth to try and move the hips. What we're actually going to be doing here is moving from the feet. So we're going to basically propel or push from the ground right back into the hip joint to rotate the pelvis. So he's actually pulling on my fingertips from here. When you come back forward, he's going to propel, drive from this leg to push against my thumb here. I'm going to drive from this leg and this leg together to create this rotation in the pelvis here, to get this open and close, you see it turns the whole body as a unit is creating that uh, cylindrical force in the torso that we talk about as being like the bare waist because we have the shoulders dropping down into the hips, the ribs tucked, so we have the sinking and clamping, it unifies the whole body, then we bring the power of the legs into the movement of the open and close. So that when we hold the hands out from here, He's gonna turn this whole circumference 
by moving from the feet. All right, so go ahead and give that a try. Match up with the partner to create this kind of feeling, the pull push, like a circumference in the pelvis. So you're turning the entire circumference of the pelvis. I hope that's interesting for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you wanna catch uh, some of our other mat on the mats videos, go ahead and click the eye up here. Check the video description below for links. Uh, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.